Hey, I'm here to talk about reactive programming with Kotlin. I'm going to release a series of videos where I'm going to talk about not only what is reactive programming, but also how to create an architecture around it, how to handle UI interactions and turn them into a stream of events, and also how to write unit tests for it. I will show these concepts using a very simple application where I'm consuming the data from a Star Wars API and just to get the data and to show in our application. And we're going to improve this application as we go further with the videos. Just a side note, there are probably many different ways of uh, implementing reactive programming. It doesn't mean that this way is better or worse. I'm just going to show one way of doing things. And you can check out this sample that I'm going to use here in my GitHub. The link is in the description of this video. So let's start first talking about the libraries that we're going to use. So first we're going to use Rx Java. That is basically the library that implement all the reactive concept. We're also going to use Rx Android and Rx Kotlin that is, is going to handle specific uh, components for Android and Kotlin. And I have also imported here Rx Binding, which is a quite useful library when you want to use the reactive way of thinking in Android views. So let's do it. This is a very simple UI. Here we have two lists one of people and one of planets and we have a card a image a text view and one button here see all so let's start by the adapter so i'm not going to show how to implement this ui because probably you already know that but instead i'm going to show how you can turn the interaction of the user with within this adapter into the reactive way of thinking. So the first thing you have to do is you have to define what are the interactions that the user may have with this class. So for example, I'm going to create a sealed class here that is going to be called interaction. And I'm going to define what are the interactions that the user may have here. So for example, I can have a name depth event that is going to uh, pass along the person ID. I don't know, just an example. And this is going to implement from interaction because this is an interaction. And we also may have, let's say, a image depth. Okay. So here in this adapter, we are going to handle two interactions: the name depth and the image depth. And now somehow we have to send this interaction, the user interaction from the adapter back to our activity. And the way that we can do that is by using a special type of observable that is called publish subject. So let's call a publisher here that is going to be a publish subject. And when you create a published subject, you have to define what kind of events you're going to emit, what kind of uh, items. In this case, is the interaction that we have just created here, right? So now, for, th for those of you that are not very uh, f familiar with the published subject, it is just a special type of uh, an observable that you can emit events and whoever is listening to it is going to receive them. So for example, what I want to do with, the, with this publisher is that every time when I tap the name or the image, I'm going to send this event back to the activity. So let's do it. In the item view, I wanna get the interactions with the click with the, the name text view. So I can use the clicks method here and subscribe to it. So as you can see, I'm using this method here from the Rx binding library that basically gets listening to the events and turns it into a, a, a stream of events. And here I can only do publisher dot on next and I pass the event that just happened. So for example, in this case, it is name tapped and of course, 
person.id. That's it. So I am getting the user interaction with this name and I'm passing to the publisher through the own next method, right? And I can do the same, but with the image. So with the image clicks, I have to subscribe, but instead of name, it is an image depth. Okay, great. So what I have to do now is I have to provide this dependency from the activity. So I have to go to activity and here I have to pass a publisher. So let's create a publisher here in the activity. So you can create a publisher by doing a, let's call it cards interaction. So this is a, this is a publish subject and then you can use a you can create a public subject using this create method and here you have to define the type which is interaction as we seen before great so I just have to provide it here and that's it so in this way I have provided a way from my adapter to pass interactions from the list back to the activity and the way that you can listen to it, so for example, let's just give one example here. Um, of type, and then you pass the type of the activity. So let's say that I want the name depth dot class, and then subscribe to it. So I want to do something. So I just want to print here. So for example, name depth. So what I'm doing here is I'm listening, I'm subscribing to the cards interaction, which is my publisher that I have passed to the people adapter. And I'm field, I'm doing kind of filtering here, which means that I want just the events of the type name tapped. And I'm just printing just to see that if it works or not. So let's see if it's working. So if I come here and click on the name, I can see name tapped. So in this video, we saw how we can pass events from a simple adapter to the activity. In the next video, we're going to talk about the presenter and how we can pass those events from the publisher to the presenter so we can decide what to do with it. And then we can even start thinking about writing some tests, some tests for it. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment or if you have any suggestion as well, don't hesitate, just leave a message. And if you like it, please thumbs up and see you in the next video.